First student walks in, sits down, gets asked, why do you want to work in private equity? I studied engineering at MIT. I have a very strong quantitative background, spent four years at Goldman Sachs after that. Now I'm finishing up my MBA at Harvard Business School. I've taken all the finance classes, private equity classes. I'm very strong quantitatively. I really love finance. Bravo. Impressive. Next student comes in. Student number two sits down. Why do you want to work in private equity? You have my CV. You see that I went to MIT. I studied engineering. I've got the quant. I spent four years at Goldman. Now I'm finishing up at HBS. But the real reason I didn't appreciate it until yesterday, I called my dad last night, told him I was coming to this interview. I said, Dad, they're going to ask me why I want to work in private equity. I need a good answer. First thing my dad asked me was, what's private equity? I explained to him. As soon as I did, he said, you tell him it's because of bicycles. What do you mean bicycles? I said, remember those broken down, abandoned bicycles in the neighborhood? You kept bringing them home, put it in the garage, sandpaper it, spray paint it, take your toothbrush outside, get all the rust off the chain. What'd you brush your teeth with anyway? Squirt WD-40 on it, replace the inner tube, sell it to some kid in the neighborhood for a hundred bucks. You always had way more money than your friends from selling those bicycles. So if I understand you correctly, son, you explain to him tomorrow that it's what you've been doing since you were 12 years old. You sell bicycles. They need to hire you. Partner goes home that evening, is having dinner with her husband. He says, how's recruiting going? Did you meet anyone interesting? She says, you will not believe this. I met this guy today. He said we should hire him because he's interested in finance. No, she's already forgot about him. He's gone. She's going to go home. Tell the bicycle story to her husband that night. Ten years later, when the bicycle story guy is being promoted to partner in the firm, she's going to retell the bicycle story again now at his celebration. She's going to toast him, say, you'll never believe what this sucker told me. Retell the bicycle story to the people in the room, and she'll be able to remember it ten years later. $100 becomes $300 because of inflation, but more or less it's the same story. Now, why does she do that? Why did she hire him instead of quant finance guy? Because she knows that in a year, two years from now, or maybe immediately, he's going to be sent to Thibodeau, Louisiana to meet Wade Boudreaux, who has a cement company. He's going to have to play golf with Wade Boudreaux and make Wade Boudreaux want to do business with him. Does Wade Boudreaux want to do business with quantitative I like finance guy or with the bicycle guy? If you know anything about Wade Boudreaux, You know what the answer is. Stories are going to create connections, generate sales, increase clients, all the stuff that matters. The CV stuff, that's there. That's impressive. That mattered a long time ago. What's going to matter in the future much, much more is the ability to connect, to tell stories. Stories.